back to vlogmas day number six i can't believe we're already six days into vlogmas um i have started the vlog a little bit later today i just got off work and i don't know what we're gonna do but i'm just gonna take you guys with us hey guys sorry for this horrible lighting um we're in the parking lot for this ice cream place frozen yogurt Devin and his mom went in to get some. I like have a really bad headache today and I'm like so tired. I didn't get enough sleep last night. Um, I have got to start editing my videos like earlier at night. I've got to figure out something because I'm exhausted. We ate lunch at Whataburger um, in Destin and then for some reason we went all the way out there for Whataburger. I don't know why. And then we're here now. And then I think we're getting ready to go to the Armament Museum which is like right outside of base. I think. And then when we go home, I'm gonna take a nap because I'm so, so tired. Look at this sweet boy. Say hello. He's a tired boy. I just came home and um, changed into some PJ pants because I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> we decided to skip the museum. I think we're gonna go later maybe, but I'm gonna lay down and watch some TV because I'm really tired. Um, and my house is freezing. I just turned the heat on though, so. Um, it was like 38 degrees this morning, so it was really cold for us here. It's probably the coldest it's gotten so far, but Sherman and I are hanging out together, huh? We're hanging out. Hey guys, so I just woke up from a nap and I'm going to make dinner, so I'm making spaghetti squash and turkey meatballs. So um, this is what I do. So I take the spaghetti squash. I've preheated the oven to 450 degrees. And I'll set you guys over here so you can see. I just take a big knife like this and I push it in and I just cut it down the middle. I take this glass pan I'm gonna take my coconut oil spray and spray the bottom then I'm going to sit the squash like this so I can season it and I always take some oil olive oil whatever you have and I kind of just drizzle it on the inside and then I will use some garlic salt and pepper you can use garlic powder but all I have is garlic salt it doesn't have much flavor so I like to season it and then I'll just put some pepper on top and then you want to make sure that you put them face down in the pan because they have to steam to cook and that's it. So I'm going to cook them like this in the oven for about 50 minutes. And I'm cooking them at 450. Um, you can cook them in the crock pot if you want to cook them all day. Or you can make them even in the instant pot. I've made them in the instant pot um, just on the regular time setting at like 7 to 8 minutes is perfect. So if you want to do that as well, then you can do that. Alright, so the spaghetti squash is done, so I wanted to show you guys kind of what it looks like. Let me see. This is what it looks like when it's cooked all the way, and then pretty much all you have to do is take a fork, and when you scrape it, can you guys see it comes off like noodles? Um, it looks like it's burned, but it's not. But yeah, you just, ah, you just scrape it like that, and it comes right off. And then I made some sauce with turkey meatballs and all I did was buy the frozen turkey meatballs and um, I put the sauce in a saucepan I'll show you guys put the frozen meatballs in and I just let it cook and then they thawed out and cooked in there and then you just put it all together
guys, so I'm folding some laundry and Sherman is in the background chewing on his little rope toy. He's had this little toy since he was just a little puppy and it was so big for him at first. So <laughs> it's just sad to see how big he is now because it's so small. Um, I did, I was on Instagram and so I told you guys that I was gonna, okay, I got one question. I asked people to ask me questions to answer for the vlog because I really haven't vlogged much today and I wanted to say I'm sorry but that's just real life because not every day is going to be exciting and so I knew that this day would come <laughs> we're only on day six I knew this day would come where I didn't feel like the vlog was good enough to post and um, I just want you guys to know that if I do still choose to post like more boring vlogs like this is just my real life so I do I want to post every day regardless and I am going to do other videos other than vlogs but um, I really wanted to just finish up the vlog today. I don't know that tomorrow I will vlog because Devin has to sleep um, all day and then I'm just taking Devin's mom to the airport tomorrow evening. So I don't, I think I might just film like a sit down video instead because I have some ideas for those. But anyways, um, I wanted to just say I, I didn't really vlog much today, but we didn't really do much today. So there wasn't really a whole lot to show. Um, but I showed you what we did do, which was just, you know, go out, go to lunch, and then I took a nap, and I made dinner, and that was pretty much it. Um, so, I did get one question. I was worried because nobody was saying anything, <laughs> and I know it's kind of late. It's 10 o'clock here, um, because I just now asked. I know a lot of people are probably asleep or, like, going to bed. So, um, Katie Fowler asked, did you guys have a court wedding or actual wedding? So, um, we had, we had, we didn't have a court wedding, but we didn't have an actual wedding either. So I get this question a lot. We actually got married in our church. Um, our pastor did marry us and we went through like premarital counseling with him and everything. So we felt really good about doing that. But as far as like actually getting married, he married us and then we just had witnesses. So that is our wedding story nothing too crazy i am glad that we at least did it in our church because that was important to us um but as far as like another question we get asked a lot nobody asked this but i'm just gonna tell you people ask us all the time if we're gonna have a real wedding uh probably not we don't really have the desire to our family really wants us to but we don't really want to so um Weddings are really expensive and we've worked really hard to save up the money that we have saved up and we just don't really feel like spending that much money, thousands of dollars on a wedding is worth it to us. I mean, some people it's important, but honestly, like we're married now. We've been, oh my gosh, Sherman, <laughs> we've been married for um, like over two years now. So it's like, you know, I don't really see the point to me. Um, some people, weddings are really important. That just wasn't something that was important to us. So that's the only question I've gotten so far, so I don't know. I guess I'll come back if anybody asks any more questions. All right, so I got two more questions, so I'll go ahead and answer those. Um, the first question I got was beach versus mountains. Hmm, this is a good question. So we currently live, excuse me, we current, can you move, please? Thank you. We currently live on the beach, or near the beach, I guess, and it's okay, but we're not like, we didn't, honestly, we didn't use the beach as much as we probably should have this summer, but I would honestly rather live by the mountains. So I got this question a lot because, um, since my curly hair video, people were asking like, what do you do on the days in between? Don't you use dry shampoo or what do you do? So no, I really don't. Um, like, okay. So I curled my hair. I washed my hair two days ago and I curled it yesterday and I haven't used dry shampoo and it looks fine. Um, but I do have a dry shampoo, but it's like a powder and it's really messy. I really need to get another like spray one, but I don't really use it. Sometimes I do. It doesn't work that well. So that's why I don't use it that much. In between the days that I don't wash my hair, I just brush it and that's pretty much all I do. He came downstairs. I know. So I'm in my office now because Devin was coming into the room to lay down so I was coming in here to hang up some shirts but I got one last question that I'm going to answer and then I'm going to end the vlog um it was do I have anxiety and what do I do to calm myself down so 
Um, yes, I do have really bad anxiety. Some days it's really bad and other days it, I don't have it at all. Um, so if you have anxiety, I think you probably know what I'm talking about. Like some days are really good, some days are really bad, some days are kind of like in between. Um, I think I'm having a day today, just like a bad day where I just feel like, today I feel just more sad for no reason. Um, and I have those days a lot too where I'm just like, I feel down for no reason at all. Um, it's also that time of the month for me, so I think that has a lot to do with it. But yeah, I'm just having a bad day and my anxiety, how to calm down, um, I don't know. <laughs> if you guys have any tips on how to deal with anxiety other than going on medicine, um, I would like to know because it's something, something that I talk about a lot, but um, I deal with it really, really bad some days. I don't even know why I'm going to cry. You guys, I'm so emotional. Like, I literally cry at the drop of the hat. But anyways, um... Yeah, some days I just feel like there's an elephant sitting on my chest and I feel like I can't breathe. And then other times my anxiety is like situational where like I'll have a doctor's appointment and I'll like obsess over it for the week before and I, it's all I can think about. I get really nervous. I get really anxious about it. I'm like making myself physically sick over it, like stuff like that. And then some days I just feel anxious for no reason. I feel like I can't breathe. Um, so yeah, you're not alone. If you feel that way, you're not alone. And sometimes I need to hear that too. Um, because it's a lot of people will deal with it, and so, um, but I don't have a solution on how to how to help you uh, cope with it because I just do. I don't know. I don't have any like good ideas or anything like that. So, um, anyways, let me check to see if I have any more questions. So I just checked, and I only got those four questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete my Instagram story where I asked for questions. Um, it's it was really late though, so. I only wanted to answer a couple anyways because I didn't want to make this super long. But um, thank you guys for watching today's vlog even though it was really boring and nothing was happening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the recipe. Um, and let me know if you guys try it. And yeah, I don't know what kind of video I'm going to post tomorrow. I'm thinking, I might vlog, I don't know. But I'm thinking I'm going to do like a sit down type of video. So if you have any suggestions, I have some ideas listed like in my phone. But um, so I have no idea what I'm going to film. <laughs> But if there's something you really want to see, just something like I can sit down and film like by myself because Devin wouldn't be able to be in it, then let me know down below. Um, make sure you're subscribed and have my notifications on. Click the little bell. I've been posting every day this month and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Um, you guys have been really, really supporting Vlogmas and um, I've gotten a lot of good feedback from it. So um, I love you guys and I hope you're having a good day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!